Hey guys, it's Janine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a much awaited berberine update and I'm going to share the tools that have worked for me in helping me shed about three pounds of body fat in just three weeks. Stay tuned. Before we get too far into this video, my name is Janine. I'm a weight loss coach, certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. I help women with weight loss. I'm 47 years old and I'm currently in menopause, so I've definitely been struggling with some of those symptoms, which I do document for this channel. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, make sure you give me a subscribe and hit that bell to be notified. Also, like and comment on this video. That really helps me out. Now let's get into the tools. Especially with entering into menopause, what I really noticed was I was just really struggling with staying in a consistent caloric deficit. Whereas I used to have an easier time doing that, but with the symptoms of menopause kind of affecting my willpower, my energy, just my overall mood and desires, um, it's just made it more difficult. So I found that implementing some tools over the past few weeks have really helped me. So let's first talk about berberine and I'm going to tag the last video I did on berberine right here. So if you want to take a look at that there, but I have been taking it for approximately three weeks. It has been helping me with that post meal hunger. I'm the type of person that after I would consume a small meal, I would still feel hungry after I was even hungrier after the meal than I did before I started eating the meal. Now what's happening there is a blood sugar response to your food and it makes you feel like you want more food. And berberine really does a great job at leveling that out. So you feel very satisfied after your meal, even if it's a small meal because you happen to be in a calorie deficit. So that's really working for me. This is the brand that I am using. I'm taking the 200 milligram Thorn brand. I get it from Amazon and 600 milligrams twice a day before my two main meals of the day have been working greatly for me, but that wasn't enough. I, I was still struggling with some, some appetite issues in general and energy as well. So I've, I've implemented two additional tools that have really been helping me. So let me go ahead and share those as well. All right, this next one helps a lot. And you know, it's really good to add fiber in your diet regardless, but this is psyllium husk powder. And I basically just take a teaspoon in water about 30 minutes before a meal. What this does is it's gonna slow down the gastric emptying of your meal. It's going to occupy some space in your stomach because it actually turns into like a gel-like substance and it slows digestion. So that is really gonna help you stay full longer and get you fuller quicker. I usually do this maybe once or twice a day just depending on how I'm feeling and what my needs are. And this really does help with appetite control. And lastly, I've recently added this fat burner. This is from One Up Nutrition. It is called Make Her Lean. I only take one and I take it in the morning. It helps suppress my appetite. I can't explain it. Fat burners have always generally worked for me. I only will use them when I'm in a calorie deficit and I cycle them out because you will build a tolerance to them. Um, but all I need is one. It takes the edge off my appetite, gives me a little boost of energy and I just love it. I do have a discount code for One Up Nutrition if you wanna try this one, but pretty much, you know, just try a fat burner and, and see if you like it. There's tons of them on Amazon. Um, I particularly like the ingredient Capsimax. I think it's in multiple fat burners and I think that's what helps with appetite control, but this one has been working really well for me. So in general, those are the three things I am doing that have been able to help me stay in a consistent calorie deficit for three weeks and drop three pounds of body fat. I'm feeling leaner, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling lighter. And I just had been kind of struggling to be honest. Um, some of the other general things I've been doing are adding more greens to my meal. So whatever my meal is, I just add a couple of handful, big handfuls of greens, whether it's kale, whether it's spinach, just to increase the volume of my food, increase fiber intake, because of that is going to help stay full, get you full, so on and so forth. So hopefully these tools will help you. I will link the three items that I'm using down below in the description. 
and let me know if there's if you have any questions or if there's anything else I can help you with comment below and I'd be happy to help you guys out stay tuned I'll continue to update on how it's going um, but so far so good so far I'm happy I'm going to continue on this regimen for a few more weeks and um, we'll see where I can get right all right thank you guys so much we'll see you on the next one